Hey, Star Wars Action Figure Collectors, this is Darth Phoenix 619 coming at you with a review, and this time it is not a Star Wars action figure. It's actually something very different, a second from my channel, reviewing something that is non-Star Wars related. And this is basically a request by Mr. Nerd97 or 95. Oh, I forgot your uh, channel, uh, Chris. So anyways, I'll leave a link to his description below. He does a lot of cool vids, hauls, Marvel and Star Wars and a little bit of a little bit of everything on his channel. So, uh, Mr. Nerd subscription, check it out. If you like, you know, subscribe. And like I said, he asked me to review this. I wasn't planning to, and I like to make my subbers happy. So I decided, why not? Um, it's a fantastic figure. Like mentioned in my haul video, I don't collect many lines other than Star Wars, Transformers, and Marvel Universe. And even then. I limit myself in, with my Marvel Universe and Transformers Prime figures. So I'm really highly anticipating this movie, and it's probably the, my most anticipated movie of the year, and I'm really excited to see it in July. And I really wanted to pick up a figure, and I got this one because it seemed like the coolest, and it's fantastic. I really want to go back and pick up the other Jaegers. Not sure about the Kaiju. The Kaiju are the, are the monsters that they, they fight in the film. Very Godzilla-like creatures. But definitely the Jaegers. Uh, really want to get the other one in this wave and get the others when once they, they're released. And I'm pretty sure once I see the film, I'll be even more motivated to do so. But it's just a beautiful figure, so let's get on to it. Enough of me giving high praise. So it's uh, here's the packaging. So it says Pacific Rim. He's a Jaeger, and and that might be its kill count. Not quite sure. So there's a. The card back is, is basically a backdrop of the city. And this is probably the aircraft or carrier or some sort of transport that they're deployed from. So, you know, there's the Jaeger, Crimson Typhoon. And the packaging has a portrait shot of the figure. Very nice. Um, Mark IV. So I'm not sure if this denotes the fourth construction like Iron Man or... The fourth Jaeger, I don't, I'm not quite sure. And there's the other wave, and like I said, Gypsy Danger is the other one I want to get. Knife hit, like not so much, not into the monsters, but the the Jaegers, very cool. Which stands for Hunter in German. So just found that out. Ah, uh, so it's it's weird to hold such a huge figure in my hands, but there he is in all his glory, and he is fantastic. He is beautiful. This this is a highly recommended figure. If if you collect NECA, if you're into mechs or basically sci-fi, this is a must. It retail retail for fourteen ninety nine at Toys R Us, and uh, they all retail the same price. They're tending to go for about thirty online, and I can see why. And once the film releases, these things are going to be highly sought after. So let's get a closer look. Get my lighting there on him and uh, just an, an intricate amount of detail on this guy just so much detail I mean you can see that there's like the uh, on the head just the gears and whatnot and just the different sort of metallic different the parts there just beautiful wonderful paint job Got all these metallic colors. It looks, looks. I mean, the camera doesn't do justice to the figure, that's for sure. There is some uh, weathering on the armor. The, the, the armor's kind of like a soft plastic. And there it says Crimson Typhoon. Both English and Chinese. Some other marks, not quite sure what they mean. So this really detailed logo, which is really nice. And there it is again on the shoulder pad, which is this very soft plastic. And once again, the, the armor is just weathered. You see the shading there that gives it that weathered look, the black. More intricate details. There's that same logo, Crimson Typhoon again. Beautiful red color, too. Just very nice. I mean, it looks metallic. Just an amazing sculpt. You can, you can see all the different sculpting that went into this figure. Some more Chinese characters. More different paint apps there. You know, in the trailer, these these 
fingers like rotate like discs or something. Pretty cool. Bigger claw, almost kind of has a Dr. Octopus look to it. And then here, just more beautiful, just an absolute wonderful sculpt. It's got some uh, weight to it too, feels good. So, just a beautiful looking figure. I, I, I can't give this figure enough praise. Some more, kind of a softer plastic there. So, just great figure, outstanding. There he is. It stands about seven inches tall, so it's a pretty tall figure. Okay. So for articulation, I'm going to do my best here to uh, give this guy justice. It's very different from your standard <laughs> three and three quarter inch figure. So the head seems to be on a ball joint. You know, it goes side to side, up and down, kind of a tilting. Uh, each arm's a little bit different. This seems to be on a ball joint. The uh, shoulders, so it goes up and down, in and out. Uh, there is a hinge at the elbow. This rotates, it swivels. That's well, a little hard. Um, the waist seems to be on a ball joint, so you get a little crunch there, ab crunch, tilt side to side. This arm only swivels, doesn't go in and out, which is one of the few defects of the figure. I wish it did. I think it has enough room between this arm and the third arm to do it. Got a hinge on the elbow. And then you got a hinge on the wrist that does not swivel. The third arm has more articulation. It's, it's on a ball joint. So it goes in and out, swivels. Really good range of motion. Hinge on the elbow, hinge on the wrist also. The legs are on a ball joint. You got a hinge on the knee and a hinge on the second knee, I guess, on the reverse knee. Kind of like Cyborg Mall, what we wish Cyborg Mall had had. And then you've got a hinge on the uh, ankle. So, just an outstanding figure. Uh, wonderfully articulated. Um, wonderful paint jobs. Paint jobs. I mean, I really can't give this figure enough praise. It's really cool. Definitely pick it up. You know, if mechs or sci fi or NECA or any of those things interest you. You shall not be disappointed. I will be definitely picking up Gypsy Danger, hitting up Toys R Us very soon. Hopefully they still have them. They had about two at that one. So, anyways, there you guys have it. I hope you've enjoyed this. A little bit different, you know. Don't get used to it, though. I do enjoy my Star Wars reviews. But hopefully that, you know, gives Chris, Mr. Nerd, a little bit more of a idea of what this figure is like. And until next time, you guys... I'm going to say may the force be with you even though it's not Star Wars. And please subscribe, like, comment, rate, and until next time.